Okay, so I thought I'd do a follow-up to the Nest Pi 4 case. Uh, just go into a bit more depth about the SATA and the hard disk and so on. So basically in there, you can probably make out, I should be able to brighten it up, uh, a SATA connector. Uh, but uh, this is, is really quite narrow and there's not a lot of room for my 750 gig physical hard drive. It does fit, but it's, it's pretty narrow. I did find that if you fold the instructions that are supplied in half and pop them in, uh, it actually raises the hard disk up enough and as long as you get it straight it goes in fine and you can take that out and so that's one way of getting a physical hard drive that's too big um, but I also have a load of SSD drives and only one of mine fit in the cartridge uh, the others were just a millimeter too thick and it's there's a forum on this uh, but it's not an issue because if you take the lid off so that's screwed in to the SSD, so it's not going to go anywhere. Uh, it actually slots in perfectly, and obviously you're going to close this when you're using it anyway. So uh, it's just a way, if you want to change your SSDs, just don't use the lid, basically. Uh, or if you buy an SSD that is 6mm high, you won't have an issue at all. But uh, the SSD that I've got in here is uh, Supreme Ultra, and uh, I'll boot it up. And I haven't done anything to this at all. I'll switch to screen capture as soon as I can. So Supreme Ultra is the latest from the Supreme team and uh, it's an unofficial RetroPie build and I've got a couple of other videos on it but it was the first one that came USB boot straight away so I haven't had to do anything to this I've literally just put it in the case uh, after flashing it to the SSD obviously and uh, it just boots up. Previous to this uh, I did a video where you had to add 14 files so if you've got an old operating system on a hard disk you might have to add 14 files to the boot ROM, but it's very easy to do, you just have to copy them in. Um, but also, uh, the Nest Pi 4 case uses a J-Micron SATA connector, which uh, one of the cables I've had wasn't compatible with some operating systems. It seems that that's gone away now. You used to have to add something to command line .txt, but I haven't had to add anything to this, and it works straight away. And I'll just boot something up just to show that it's all working. So we go for PlayStation Portable. Uh, what should we do? Let's do a bit of burnout. And I'm using, as I was in the other video, a wired Xbox 360 controller. They're just one of the simplest controllers to use because it, it's just recognized by pretty much every operating system. Let's skip past all this. So you can see it works really nicely, very fast very fluid. I think I'm overclocked to 2147 on this. I'll be able to have a look when I get into the operating system in a minute. Ooh. So let's quit out of that. So there are loads and loads of things in the menu. Let's just turn the music down a little bit uh, of this Supreme Ultra RetroPie build. And I've covered it before. Um, so what I thought I'd do is go and quit out into the desktop environment. So let's press start quit and quit emulation station and yes uh, and you can see on this screen it's got the temperature so the CPU is 42 degrees so let's type in start X okay so this is what the desktop environment boots up like and uh, as you can see there's various things installed in here uh, we've got Chromium Media Center, which is uh, very good for things like Netflix, Disney Plus, and Spotify. That's already pre-installed. There's not a lot else uh, installed in it, but I'll just flick through so you can see. Steam Link is nice. Uh, one of the great things on here is definitely PyKiss. Um, so this is a way of installing various different games and emulations, and it's all automated. So if we go to games uh, and we want to install, say for instance, Duke Nukem, we can click on that and it will fully install to the operating system and launch from there and it works great. And there's various other things in here um, and, uh, and several things that, that work incredibly well. You also have emulation, so there's all sorts of separate emulators. So we've got a GameCube emulator which isn't showing up in the Supreme Ultra build, but if you want to install it with PyKiss, it, uh, it actually works pretty well. So let's quit out of that because the thing I wanted to show was how to copy some ROMs to this. So I'm running uh, RetroPie Supreme Ultra, which as I said before, isn't out yet, but it will be out soon. Uh, and this automatically supports SSD boot. So everything is running from the SSD, but I haven't really got 
any ROMs on there apart from ones that came with it. So if I click on RetroPie and ROMs, and if I pick something like SNEDS, open the folder, you can see there's no ROMs in there. So if I want to add ROMs, let's open up another files. So let's go to my network drive and connect and navigate to where my ROMs are in my gaming folder, ROMs, look for SNES, look for a game that I want to put on there. So I was going to put Sunset Riders if I've got it in here, Sunset Riders. So let's copy that and pop that into here. So this is my network attached storage. This is the SSD that RetroPie is running from. So now all I need to do is restart the system and uh, Sunset Riders should show up. Shut down and reboot. Okay, so you can see it's all booted up. So let's navigate down and see if we've got SNES. Yes, we have. And it says one game available. So there's Sunset Riders. Click on that. There you go. So you can see that's working fine. We've got that nice frame around it. Oh, oh. <laughs> it's super hard, this game. But a really good game. I don't know, I got no sound. Oh, I muted the sound in the operating system. So I need to unmute that, but never mind for the purpose of this, just showing it working. And loads of operating systems are supported. So if you add ROMs for the supported operating systems, things like Dreamcast, PSP, PlayStation, N64, all of that sort of stuff, it will just show up. So let's quit out of that. Okay, so I hope all this helps. Thanks very much for watching. Please like and subscribe.